Hello! Thanks for watching this video. If you are a new visitor to my channel, note this video is part of a series of videos, and please see the earlier videos in this series. They build on the knowledge in the prior video and it is essential to understand the flow of thought to make complete sense of this video. When we start studying the detrended price, we can see that price swings around the zero line. The zero line is the moving average, and we can see the price movement away from the moving average, is even, balanced, and can be measured easily. This movement away from the moving average, does not have a great variation, and once we understand the maximum it moves away from the moving average, we can instantly know if the price is overextended, or undervalued, in relation to the average price of a month. Here, we need to understand a subtle point. The moving average, is the average price of the time period, in this case, as we are measuring the average monthly price, the values shown today, is the average of the last 20 sessions. But truly, since the price is constantly changing and the moving average also keeps changing, we need to factor in future price movements also to get a closer approximation to the average. Hence, we arbitrarily offset the moving average half the period back. In this case, we offset the moving average 10 trading sessions back, and subtract today's price from its value to arrive at a more realistic divergence from the average. This detrended price as we plot on the chart, will always be lagging by 10 periods back. However, by a closer study, we can see the average divergence the stock is making from the moving average, and make an assumption of the average longest distance, it takes away from the average. Whenever price reaches its maximum divergence from its moving average, we can safely assume, it will swing in the opposite direction to test the average, and in most cases, it also swings to the other side of the moving average. And when it swings to the other extreme away from the moving average, we know it is very likely to swing back towards the moving average. We use the detrended price, to know the average price it moves away from a moving average. Once we ascertain, the average price movement away from the moving average, we do not need the detrended price anymore. To understand where we stand currently, we just need to compare today's price with the moving average price, and if it is beyond the average divergence from the moving average, we can be extremely careful, and watch for any signals of a change in trend. In 99% of the cases, we will see a change in trend, and markets swinging in the other direction. Here is a chart of ICICI Bank. See the average price movement, around 9 to 12 points away from the moving average. Every time, price moves this distance away from the moving average, we can see there is a change in the trend. In the next video, we will see how to add an indicator and understand the price bars, to trade this strategy. 